Okay, I think I'm streaming. Is it streaming? Looks says it is. Cool. I figured I would, uh... So... Oh, I am not seeing... Not seeing what I need to see. Hold on, hold on. Oh, where is my chat? There we go. And then stats. Where did stats go? Ah, over here. Ooh, getting some frame drops. Cool. This is all fine. So I'm still getting the stream set up. I thought I would hop on and... Oh, really? Yeah, that's fine if it's like this. I don't care. Um, so what I'm doing... Oh my gosh, this is great. Oop. So I just wanted to get the stream set up, and I figured I'd do it like right now instead of worrying about it. Um, oh, that's annoying. I'm trying to set up my OBS to be good, and it's just being kind of annoying. There we go. Screw it, YOLO. Um, but yeah, this is sick. So I'm going to be doing some Fundamentals of R course. Uh, let me actually see that how my stream looks, test the chat is actually working. But basically I'm building out this course in R, and what I'm going to be doing is... The course! <laughs> Sorry, I'm like reading things and getting all uh, messed up. But yeah, I figured what we could do is make this, uh, if you just need to work as well, this is a great stream for you. Uh, also, yeah, the quality looks great, right? So I have my desk set up with the DSLR for the filming for the course, so. But we need to do just a bunch of writing today. Um, so I just got to be working on that. But I want to see what I look like, make sure the stream is actually good. So, um going. I'm just checking if the chat works. Yep, it's working. Okay, it's just a little bit. Ah. Huh, weird. Cool. So now I have the chat so that I can see that. What? Sort of see that? Oh gosh. Oh, you don't even see what I'm seeing. Uh, let's do a display view. Cool. So... What I did just have was, where'd it go? Oh yeah, the chat thing right here. Here we go. So yeah, it just hides the most recent thing. But uh, I really only need to, oh yeah, let me toggle timestamps because I'm always wondering that. So cool, so now oh, it doesn't stay over. Ah, that sucks. Um, to hide VMs. Then, and maybe I'll listen to that. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm still getting this set up. And I believe it should... Oh, but are you going to hear... You're going to hear it if I play music. So if I play myself... Oh gosh, sorry. This is what I need to look at. It's just being annoying over there. view oh okay so you can hear me I'm just checking if I can hear myself or if you can hear me doesn't look like it cool okay so this will work this will work that means I can still like watch my stuff and play my music without worry um, but I need this. I need the chat to stay, but it's not wanting to stay. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so bad. I am just messing this up so badly. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so I think I got it set up. I'm about to start up on this. But yeah, I figured what we could do is make this very, very casual. Um, just ask me any questions. I'm going to be watching, trying to keep an eye on the chat. Uh, I'll try to answer them, because that's ultimately how I see these working out best. Um, 
but yeah, so I, I can see the chat now, thankfully. I got my coffee, I got my pipe, I got everything I need to start uh, filming, uh, to start doing this course. So, let's see. Now I can... So, what we're looking at right now is a bunch of... I'm streaming an AMA right now on uh, YouTube. So basically, it's it's an AMA. I'm just working, and then if you have any questions about anything, anything biology, I, I want to answer it for you. So I just want to, yeah, come on. I'm streaming an AMA right now on uh, YouTube. So basically, it's, it's an AMA. I'm just working, and then if you have any questions about anything, anything biology, I, I want to answer it for you. So. Okay, yeah, come on. let's add yeah, a YouTube link. An AMA right now on, uh, YouTube. So basically, it's, it's an AMA. I'm just working. And then, if you have any questions about anything, anything biology, I, I want to Oh gosh, I'm hearing way. myself so, now. I hate this. I hate this. I hate yeah, I've reached that point in the I'm video. Streaming an AMA right yeah, now I don't need that at all. So basically, uh, it's, it's an AMA. I'm just working. Blah. Sorry, I'm and trying to get the link. If you have any questions about anything, anything biology, I, I Let's get this link way. really quick. So, why is that link so ugly? Yeah, I'm streaming an AMA right now on uh, YouTube. So Watch. basically, it's, it's an AMA. I'm just working. And then, e if you have any questions about anything, e anything biology, I, I want to answer it for you. So, ZB. Wanna, yeah, come on. T -R -A. I'm streaming an AMA right now on uh, YouTube. V so basically, it's, it's an AMA. I'm just working. H and then, if you have any questions about e anything, y anything biology, I, I want to answer it for you. So. Done. Basically, it's, it's an oh, AMA. No, it doesn't anything, work. And then, if you have any questions about why, why doesn't that work? Anything biology, I, I want to answer it for you. So, I just want to, yeah, come on. I'm streaming an AMA right now on, uh, uh. Someone just told me about, uh, that I, they named a bunch of tadpoles after me. Um, yeah. Yeah, what's up? Ashutosh, I'm an undergrad student, all confused about how this is all research things happen. No course I'm being taught, just me like tools and techniques to do it, let's say. Uh, yeah, man, research is, man, I don't know who you are. Uh, person, dude, what's up? <laughs> no, research is, uh, tricky. Because uh, no one's taught. Like, no one, there's very little, you know, how to do research, how to get involved in research, or like a researcher's boot camp. Hold on, I'm going to write that down really quick. Um, I write down every idea. So, because that is something that is really tricky to figure out. Um, oh, yeah, that's the courses section. Because, yeah, no one, no one ever teaches you how to actually do a how to like be a scientist how to get into the field there there's kind of like how would you put it like goals that everyone works with or different um ideas that are passed on through the whole chain of command of academia so like a pi will typically tell a, an undergrad in many cases that like hey if you thought about going to grad school hey you should go to grad school um so that's usually a professor sometimes it's a, another grad student um to be a scientist boot camp. But um, I don't know how to spell, I don't care. But the thing is, that's not the only path, even though that's what it seems like a lot of. Most, most of the time it's just getting experience and asking other people for to, to help. Um, when I first started doing like research and science, it basically started because I walked up to a professor and I said, hey, uh, my name's Dylan, I'm really into uh, reptiles and amphibians and stuff. Um, and yeah, like I, I want to help out. I want to 
do something that is uh, related to research in that way. And that's just sort of started me on a little path. And, you know, I started doing more research, started helping out. I left that lab. I did something else. But, um, you know, that's just like the, the getting started. But then in terms of the actual tools you need, there, there's kind of the issue of there's so many different tools that you might need that it's hard to determine which ones to teach. So my undergrad degree was very, very focused on techniques for like wildlife, like field biologist wildlife techs. So we were learning how to set traps. We were learning how to identify birds, that type of things, um, identify reptiles, uh, just very core basics. And I'm really thankful for having that education because those courses actually felt worthwhile to me. However, on the statistical analyses, that is the one thing that is never taught properly to anyone. And it is so difficult. All of my R knowledge is 100% self-taught, 100%. Um, and so now I'm actually trying to develop those resources for, for people kind of like you who are like, I, I want to know R, but the tutorials are, like the tutorials you find online are so abstracted from research, it, it doesn't feel appropriate unless you're like a computer scientist. Uh, and so I'm trying to make it more relatable. I, I hope that kind of answers your question. It's, it, it's not like everyone's confused i'm like almost at the end of my grad program and i'm still confused nobody really knows what's going on <laughs> we're all just trying our hardest Ugh. but yeah i mean if, if i had to say like learn anything i would say learn r like absolutely learn r um because it's just such a useful um Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so I mean, like, it sounds like you're already on the right path then. But, um, yeah, I mean, every university has opportunities for undergraduate research, even if it doesn't seem like it. Um, there, There is always some type of research that needs to be done and slash can be done. Um, so you, there's totally something that should work for you, like, that, that should be there for you to get experience if you're not already getting that. But in terms of, like, the next steps, a lot of it's just applying to grad school, you know? A lot of it is just looking up uh, if grad school is what you want to do. Um, I always say like sometimes it's better to work for a little bit, um, figure out if that's what you want because a lot of people work in the park service or the government or whatever and never had grad school and they're doing great. Uh, so sometimes getting that experience just helps out. But it's, it's, it's tough. It's super tough. Depends on where you're at. Depends on what you want to do. Depends on what you're good at and like what you value. Um, Really, the biggest three ways of doing research, though, are just getting experience with uh, academia, going to government work, or, um, yeah, volunteering. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just, like, a lot of it uh, in the current state. Let's see, okay, we got that. Week four. Let's see, it's good. Let's just start on week five. Yeah. But yeah, where are you? Uh, what 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 type of field are you interested in? So just so like I can narrate what I'm doing here, um, I've been, this is all the course material for the R course that I'm uh, putting together. So what I did first was I made all of this material week zero through week six. I just wrote, just wrote as much as I possibly could. Let me check if chat is, okay, now chat is working fine. Perfect. Uh, I just wrote as much as I possibly could. 
and it was very rough. I said, this is what I think it's going to look like. This is what I think is a general good thing. Cool. Um, now, so for example, week five, I have these three files. Um, this is what every folder looked like was three files. But if I go to one that I've already split out, like let's say week two, um, you'll see that it's a lot more. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking up these markdown documents into more easy to digest chunks. Um, and then that also lets me sort of maneuver them around, plug and play where I think it makes more sense. Um, yeah, and just do more stuff. So right now I'm on week five, so week five of six, it's nearing the end. I'm hoping to get all the written content up by the end of the day if I just really plug and play. But um, week five is talking about how to create your own functions and iterate through a data set. So say you want to do something like get the sum of, uh, of every value uh, per row. This, this is how you would do it. Um, so, or usually it's a lot more complex than that, but this is something that I do often while I'm doing stuff in R, and I feel like it's not really taught to people going into the biologies, but it, it should be, because it just makes, things, makes life so much easier. But yeah, so it starts off with just me looking through them all. I keep those original files and then just see what I need to pull out. So this one's pretty easy. Like week five is four loops. I start off with this one. I'm taking the introduction, putting it into its own thing. I've been doing that for all the weeks and I just prefer it. But then now doing going into this one and then maybe seeing if I want to put this into two sections or not. Um, so I'll just have to read it again. And then this is sort of how I do it. I do very, very broad, messy, blah, blah, blah. Then I refine it. Then I, then I do one more check after all of this. So once I have it split out properly, I just read over everything. So that, that's sort of my workflow for anything I do. Just do it as rough as possible at first and then, you know, just chill. And then, yeah, I'm hoping you're not hearing some uh, speed metal, so... Cause I just cranked that on Spotify. <laughs> Some point you will likely need to. Form. Oh gosh. Wow, I can't believe what niche you want to work in. Political ecology interests me. I mean, it, it sounds like you have all these three different things, um, which which could all relate to one another pretty easily. Like, like those three fields are so interconnected. Like the interaction between ungulates and grasslands is pretty intense, honestly. I, I mean, you could totally develop projects around that with, without too much issue. Um, and honestly, what I've noticed is that plant stuff in general, like plant biology, is so much more applicable in most areas of the world. Uh, there's so much that does, that depends on plants that you can. There's a lot more mobility in the field. So, I mean, do what, do what fascinates you. Um, and the niche itself, I wouldn't worry too much about the niche. If, if you worry about the niche before you have it, you're not going to get into anything because uh, it's so easy to hone in. I've done a lot of different projects that were tangentially interesting, and I just like doing them. And then while I was doing that, I was always maneuvering into the things that I liked and maneuvering away from the things that I didn't like. And so that's just ultimately where I ended up here. Let me 
see, I'm just gonna make some examples for this. Summary statistics. Ah, uh, this is just such a mouthful. This isn't, this isn't working right. Um, this would be as simple as getting some of the rows. Deviation of, of each row. Every individual over every over every object in a list. In a list. Often these highly custom. Then we will need to create our own function. No, we're not really creating functions. This will require this will require you to write your own function. This Require you to write your own function and have it run over, over every instance, over every Ugh, I don't like the wording of this, but it's just to get the structure. But for now, just save it into week five. Okay. So, yep, so now the next one should just be intro to four loops. Visual cool H four intro introduction to four loops. Okay, yeah. For right now we're just uh, intro to four loops. Right now I'm just splitting up.
Okay. And then I want to do this so it's another uh, four loops. Um, Because sometimes it's just better to have it like split more often. Yeah, yeah, I could take you. I'm actually uh, building it out right now. Um, what do you need? Uh, what do you need help with on it? Mm. Yeah, uh, to enroll. So there's um, there are two components, or I guess two ways of doing it. So there is the uh, self-paced course. Uh, let me actually show you this. So, do 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 do. Yeah. So right now there is a uh, self-paced course that is it's in early access right now. So not all the material is up yet, but I'm working on making it uh, well work. <laughs> Uh, that's that's literally what we're doing right now. So, it has. Uh, let's see. Let's let's collapse all the curriculum really quick. Yeah, basically, it's six to seven weeks uh, is what it's intended for. You could technically finish it all in one week if you want. You could finish it over six months. It's uh, totally self-paced for you. Um, but it's really just like at the introduction. You've never coded with R, so. Uh, this is supposed to get you started on a lot of the basics. So right now, um, it's it's built around manipulating objects, tidyverse, cleaning data, creating pipelines, uh, doing just good work, and then some really basic data visualization. Uh, what I'm working on is getting all of the written material for the main six weeks up by, uh, hopefully by today. I, I'm really thinking that if I plug away, I can get it up for today. But right now, uh, I'm, I'm probably getting into too many details, but if we look into basics of R, it has multiple lessons within here, as well as several quizzes that we take. So if we look into, uh, let's just do, let's do intro to plotting, I think is one of the better examples. I, oh, I might not have filmed this one yet though. I don't remember. What? Oh, I need to make that one, that's right. I just moved that over here. So again, it's early access, but that means it's a reduced price. So right now it's 25 US. Um, it goes up in price as I get closer and closer to finishing the course. So this is an example of like one of the lesson pages. It's the written content only. Um, but in week zero, I thought I added all these. No, I guess I didn't. Um, but yeah, so in week zero, it already has the videos as well. So uh, the written content will be here up uh, probably by the end of the day for everything. But yeah, so there's like written lectures for uh, every single lesson. So every single thing you see on the side here will have an accompanying video lesson that I'm working on. Uh, it's meant to be done over the course of like six weeks, totally self-paced. But yeah, the um, to enroll, it's pretty easy. Let me uh, Let me just go. I went too far back. Yeah, I'll just give you, I'll just drop the link in the chat really quick. Um, let's see. Yeah. So this is the link. 
yeah. to that. And then let me also just edit the video really quick. Add it into the description. Save. Done. Easy enough. Cool. But yeah. So, yeah, it, it's that. Um, and it should just be 25 right now. So, again, you won't have everything uh, right when you buy it, just because I, I haven't made everything yet. But it, it's, it's the best way to get it to you for a, a super cheap price while it's still being built out. Uh, I, I anticipate it'll be done in the next uh, month. Uh, just, like, fully done, but it's going to be, like, 90% done for quite a while. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, build it out as fast as I can, uh, but making sure the content is good. I think I might just keep the supply function because a lot of it is like I don't think I need to split it out. It might be a little long, so we'll see if I need to split it, but and then custom functions. Ugh. I think a lot of this... Oh, I remember this one. I think I was really wordy for some reason. I think I just went kind of advanced with this for some reason. Why did I do this? Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I can split this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. our customs. Did I say that? Yeah. Making our functions more versatile. we actually got this section already peeled out. Let me just rename everything properly. to four loops. Okay, right, right, right. There we go. That makes more sense. So, okay. Intro to custom functions. So then this is just the four loops. Yeah. Okay, cool. I can delete this. 
this. So that's now all good. And then let's hop into week six, which actually might already be split up properly. Let's see. Uh, there's so many elements. Okay. Yeah, these lessons might just be longer. Like, no way around it. Okay. Okay. So I do need to split this out. Okay, this is pretty easy. So new our markdown uh, basics of ggplot. So boom. over into week six. Basics of ggplot. So now we need a new file. See, so I need to add some stuff. This might not be the right section, but okay, let's add in this. So I just copied wrong here. Yeah, so the checking might take me a while. We'll see how much content I get up, but I can at least get a few weeks up. shape and simple layering. Cool. Okay, this one's no longer needed. So now we have I'll just keep this faceting of ggplot. I don't think I need to change this. Actually, this might be it. Okay, so I think I actually, yeah, ggplot was already pretty separated really well. Let's look up, I want to look up some just like basics of ggplot stuff. Kind of just getting an idea of what's going on. Hey, thanks for joining in. 
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad I could be of some help, too. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to DM me as well. Uh, it's, it's always open. It may take me a bit to get to them, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely get some, uh, definitely get some good sleep. Oh, I realized I should be... Oh, that's right. I've been trying to figure out how to get my mic to this point where you don't hear me clacking away. That's it. Oh, yeah, this mic... This mic has an aux input? Are you kidding me? Hold on. No way. I can... Wow, I can get instant feedback. I did not know that. Holy shit. So. Wait, but is it? Is it? Oh my god, it is instant. Okay, so that is the gain. That is that. That is that. That is that. Oh, way too low. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. What is this? This is just... Is this gain or is this volume? This sounds like it is... Okay, turn this down all the way up. Is that better? Wow. Okay. So that feels a little Well, this is the price we pay for More on the back end. If it's here, you'll hear oh the back and the front, but that's it. then if it's this one, which is side by side, you basically just hear that. So what I always thought was better was this, and then oh, but if it's right behind. Sorry if this is really annoying. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. That's me, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I got so distracted. Um, oh, this is weird. Okay, yeah, sorry, I don't, I can hear myself and I hate it. Uh, boom, okay. Audio is the bane of my existence, I'll be real. Sorry if the, uh, oh, this is a wireless keyboard. I can just do it like, wow, wow, guys. I have degrees and I just realized that I can sit here with my wireless keyboard just in my, in my lap good lord oh my god i i could have been doing this the whole time wow 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 <laughs> i don't care. Oh, i guess i shouldn't be showing you all, all my emails i guess it's like a bad thing to do right so whatever so nice okay 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 so these have all been split out so what I need to do now is I want to look up some stuff really quick so advanced Yep, I knew about tabs. Hmm. Book down. 
Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so I need to be using book down. Nice. Oh, hey man, how's it going? Uh, it was good. It was a good live. Um, really, I just kind of talked about what uh, what what the Psycom has been like, and also what I'm doing in the future. Um, what's kind of you know, basically what what is my Psycom generally going to be looking at, and a lot of it's more or less more live content. Um, just because videos take so long, and I need to uh, make money right now, so it's sort of this thing of I want to wait on videos, like long form videos. Definitely doing the short stuff way more, but the uh, long form videos I am kind of intentionally taking a break on um, for a little bit, just while I figure out some stuff, and then yeah, just being a lot more intentional about what I'm doing. So. Ah, okay. But yeah, it's good. I'm going to be doing more of them, too. Kind of some of this, basically going over a lot of the stuff I learned at this conference. So I might be doing one day after tomorrow that's all just about science misinformation and, like, how it's spread and sort of talk about it a little bit more. Um, yeah, it sucks because, like, I really like the Science Stories series that I started. Uh, I, I really, really enjoy that, but until I just know I can make more of a living off of this and I'm not working so much, I, I'm just putting it on hold. However, I am doing it in a slightly different way. And this is going to be good because then I can turn them all into videos eventually. Um, so Mammals is trying to do more Twitter spaces, which like I'm not really on Twitter, and so this is kind of an opportunity for me to do stuff. I want to make like a... Uh, basically turn those science stories where I take a scientific paper or concept and turn it into a story, but do it in like a live radio format. So we figured out on Twitter spaces how to add in our own sound effects and music and different things. So I want to do that basically. Um, yeah, make it a, a fully functioning, uh, like war of the world style kind of old timey radio, M you know, maybe not old-timey anymore but a live radio production that is with sound effects and based around these stories so we're kind of working on format still um i need to do it luckily i already have a few pre-planned because of the story the science stories i've already done um yeah and what's cool is by me writing them out writing the scripts getting them prepped getting all the audio files kind of set in order it's already going to be making me light scripts for when I turn them into videos and do the videos again in the future. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's, it's good. I, I've just been really thinking a lot about content wise in terms of what time do i have available and you know trying to make a living off of content um we don't have any natural showdowns like planned planned uh so i can do them at any point i've just been not wanting to use them for free if that makes sense because mammals pays me when i do it with them um so i kind of want to keep them a little bit exclusive at the moment just because they take a lot of work for me to put together. Uh, and I'm transitioning into like doing my own courses and not being subservient to my institution. So that's just uh, taking up a large amount of my focus right now, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. So yeah, so like I've, they're just on hold while they're uh, still getting funding up, so. It's, it's something I knew with it going in is that it's not consistent. Um, but yeah. But yeah, it, it takes a lot to really put one together at, at their level. If I did it on my own, it'd be something way easier. Um, like, it might be through Twitter spaces, but like a more audience-only type of round. Uh, which I'm, I'm going back and forth on either of those things, so. But, 
But yeah, it should be pretty easy to do once we get them done. That's the thing. Um, it's just, yeah, a lot. So let's open up all of these. Okay. But yeah. What was I doing? I feel like I was about to grab something and just lost. Do not need these statements. So far on this course, these are. These are. These are the set of functions that got pre-installed with R and will serve you well. Roger our code. Uh, from here on the course, we will heavily use the suite of functions from the tidyverse package. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Uh, I don't like that, actually. I'm just gonna highlight it. Yeah. Markdowns. Yeah, so, uh, making up the R Markdown documents for the uh, Fundamentals of R course that I'm putting together. So I make everything in R Markdown uh, because it allows me to put the code in the middle, you know, and then I export them uh, to put them up on the website. I just export them as straight HTML, and then I can copy the HTML, pop it on, and then it looks like, uh, yeah, like, it'll look like this. Um whenever it's added in, so taking a bit of time because I'm on the admin side, of course. There we go. But yeah, so like I can embed the my documents in like this, basically. But um, I was also looking into making them all into one giant book format, so that's what I'm trying to figure out uh, next. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out next. What was I, where was I at? There we go. Um, Introduction, did you mean pre-installed with R and then? Oh, yep, 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 yep. I was like, something seemed off. Maybe that's what's throwing me off. Okay, oh, yes, I need to add in these packages. Um, actually, I'm just going to link to their website. Um, all the factors used. here. Uh, there was a time where I think the R Markdown documents didn't have spell checker, and that sucked for me. I was so bad. Um, tidyverse. Packages. So, do, 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 do. Although, I guess I should just... Mm, here we go. I'll, I'll say the packages, but more info can be found on the Tidyverse website. Tidyverse website. I think I'll list all of the packages here. I just won't be lazy. So, boom, boom. Boom. Oh yeah, the problem is I just mix words up all the time, words and letters, like really badly. And there's just a couple words that I like chronically misspell, uh, so it kind of drives me crazy. Okay, this does need to be up here. Um, data visualization. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, I do lots of typos and I kind of don't worry about it anymore because the spell checking tools are so good. I mean, I'm gonna, I make a lot of typos, um, and I, I just kind of, I don't know, people, people get really hung up on typos too, uh, especially on social media, like, people will just go off on typos, uh, so sometimes I just do them intentionally for the algorithm. <laughs> uh, in data. Um, I'm not gonna, here are some, I'm not gonna do everything, like, per isn't needed, tibble isn't needed, uh, like, yeah, and I'll just add a stringer, uh, better tools for, uh, manipulating, manipulating a string. There we go. Perfect. Easy. To install tidyverse, we need to use the install.packages function. I don't know why on these later sections, I actually ended up adding just a lot more content, and it's been really, like, I don't know why. Um, this up cool so yeah this is like an example of an introduction um what i would do then is what i uh so let me just double check everything ah see so this should be i think heading three yeah heading three for all those boom done and then actually and then these need to be deleted i found out so then all I do is I knit this to HTML. This is basically all I do for the courses. Um, what? What? What is it trying to do here? Oh, it looks like I have a... Do I have a, an error somewhere? Uh, oh, it's already loaded. Oh, I should do um, eval equals false for each of these. Or just for that one, I think. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll just do eval equals false for both, actually, because it looks ugly. But yeah, it's pretty easy. So eval just says don't run it, basically. So that, yeah, looks clean. And then all I do is I go to... Oh, God, my working directory isn't set. Oh, God, okay. Um, so let's set it then. Ugh. I hate this like backslash forward slash stuff you have to do. It's just annoying. But whatever. Cool. So now if I knit it. Yep, cool. So now what I do is I open this up in the editor here. And what that does is it shows me just a straight HTML. 
Then I can copy that, go to my website. Uh, let's see. I have it on uh, Intro to Tidyverse. Oh, I don't even have the courses there. Did I have the week two written material? I think I did. I did. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's add in week three. My hope is that I can add in week three, four, five, and six written material by the end of the day. That's my goal. And then by the end of the day, I'm going to be upping the price. Then. Once I get all of the quizzes added in, then it'll be 50. So 35 to by the end of the day, 50 bucks tomorrow. So. Let's see. Edit course. Um, yeah, I need to edit the course first. Oh. Yeah, I've been working on this course for months now, but it's at a it's finally at the point where I can really work on it. So that's what I'm super excited about. Uh, intro. So this would be um, so I need to do a week three overview, and then I usually do two point. Wait, no, 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 I'm not creating a new section. Okay, uh, 3.0, week 3, overview. Which I still need to write up, actually. 3.1, intro to tidyverse. Uh, 3.2 is going to be intro to pipes. Intro to pipes. feel like ah, select and pull arrange and leave, relocate let's do select and pull I think it's the most basic one okay uh, okay wait oh so this would be 3.1.1 actually and then this would be 3.1.2 and then now we have 3.2.1 which is yeah, and then uh, 3.2.3, 3.2.4. Yeah, so then it's going to be select and pull. Yep, there we go. Yeah, for sure, go for it. I mean, that's basically, I'm just chilling here until I finish everything. Uh, select and pull. Oh my gosh, those are all quizzes. Uh.
actually, you know what? This is more of a stream just to say I streamed for an hour. I streamed for an hour. I'm going to leave. Wait. Uh, stop streaming. <laughs>